Y'all will not believe the things I just saw in that house. This is the plumbing job from hell. Viewer discretion advised. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the worst plumbing ever. In 40 years of plumbing, this is some of the worst things I've ever seen. Now, I don't know if this is a DIYer or a homeowner, but luckily, thanks to my buddy Abraham, he gave me a shout and says, Roger, look, I've got a house you need to see. This has got to be some of the worst plumbing he's ever seen. This is not in our service area, and normally I'd say no, but Abraham's a pretty good guy. So I'll tell you what, Will and I hopped in the Jeep. We drove up here today, and I've got to tell you, I've just walked around the outside and kind of walked through it real quick. Y'all are not going to believe this, but do me a favor. If you've got a crazy video or you got a crazy picture, or if you're out on a job here in the next few weeks and you see something really crazy, take a picture, take a video, send it to me. We'll make sure to give you a shout out. So as you can see from this, apparently either a plumber lived here, plumber did a lot of work here. This is a sign that somebody's been working on this. So you're not going to believe this. I was actually looking for the valve box came over to the side of the house and I guess this is it, meaning there's a valve over there. But really that's just a hose bib. What we've got is we've got open or pipe. It looks like there's a pretty shallow trench dug cause it's about, I don't know, maybe 12 inches deep at the most. But literally you've got open or pipe coming up. It goes here to a 90, comes up to a T that actually catches a half inch line over to that hose bib. And then yes, this is it. This is your water supply to the house on the outside, not even supported, nothing. It's just stuck in a hole. This is the water supply line to the house. And it's a three quarter inch line. So as you know, with the fittings, this is gonna be a very restricted flow. Very interesting already. Okay, now we're going in. I'm gonna put my gloves on. Y'all seen what I saw outside? I gotta tell you inside, it's getting crazy. Come on in. Here's the water line. Remember outside where I showed you it coming up and in? This is actually it. You gotta love a plumber that just makes a hole in the wall and runs it. Like I said, Lori runs it right along the ceiling. It's actually secured right here with two hole straps to the ceiling. I hope this is not a plumbing job that you did, but if you did, do me a favor, leave your name and comment down below. I wanna make sure we don't ever hire you. Okay, so this is that same line. Literally, I just showed you right over there coming through the wall. Now it comes down, I like it. He didn't make a hole in the wall. He just came down through the door jam comes up, we've got another two hole strap here. Then the good thing is he 90s up to go across and actually, well, come on over here. Let me show you this over here. The line that I talked about coming over, this is great because he 90s up, goes up by the ceiling. He doesn't use two hole straps up there, he uses plumber tape, which I'll show you. Here's what's neat, you see this T right here? See how this T comes right across my head? You're gonna like this because it goes down, goes through the wall, into the bathroom. Let's go check that out. So here we are. The line that I showed you coming across and going down, go through the wall, actually comes down right over here by the tub. So I can tell you this tub does not have any water. It, at least not off this line. But what this does, it comes in, it goes across, comes up under the lavatory. So I'm assuming he has cold water at the lavatory. And luckily he put in a T so that he'd have water to flush the toilet. What do you think? You think he flushed or no? Come see. So as you can see from the electrical, Probably the plumber's also the electrician, same guy. I like the way they just use wire nuts and zip ties to fix the light, but you know what? It works, right? So anyway, as you see, that's the water line running right above it. I like the way they hung the ceiling fan and plugged it into the outlet right above the water line. I lied to you, because there is a two hole strap over here, but we've got plumbing tape holding up the plumbing. You gotta love it, water lines. This is one of the most imaginative installations I've ever seen. Wait till you see the rest of it. Come on. So the line comes across the living room, across the top of the kitchen, and drops down and goes back here to behind me, which I'm assuming, because I hadn't walked in there yet, is the washing machine, laundry room, water heater room, something like that. But I gotta tell you, before we go in there, I wanna show you the two lines that come out and go over here to the kitchen sink, because this is very interesting. Okay, so I know you're not gonna believe it. These are actually the hot and cold water lines going to the kitchen sink. Now the water's turned off, so I can't really run anything to see if anything works, but isn't it funny that we have an extra shark bite T, sign of a great plumber, and an angle stop down here. Maybe he was gonna hook up a garden hose or something, I have no idea. But there's another T up under here where he does actually run a water line over to the dishwasher, and I'm sorry, but you're not paying me enough money to open it up. Okay, maybe I will. Let's see. We got clean dishes. Anybody wanna have a drink with me? 
Okay, everybody get ready because this is where the stuff gets crazy. You are not gonna believe this. You got the cold water coming in. You've got a line going to the water heater. You've got a line here. I guess this used to be for a laundry room, although there is something on the other side of this wall and I really don't know what it is yet. It looks like another bathroom because I actually see more shark bite fittings, but I actually see a line coming up where it looks like a hot and cold valve and oh my God, look, there used to be, no, sorry, I thought that was real copper there for a minute. I'm looking at the drain, there's no vent coming up, so that's kind of crazy. I have no idea where the washing machine drain is. You, you've got a drain coming up like a, a pipe to stick the water line in and water here, but I'm telling you what, man, this is the most creative water piping job I've ever seen. So this is definitely the tub and shower I was telling you about. Well, there's no shower head, but at least there's a trailer home water faucet here to get water into the tub, but it doesn't look like it's been used in a while. Matter of fact, it smells kind of funky in here. And we've got water lines coming in, so we do have hot and cold water to the lavatory, and thank God they teed off for the toilet. So we've got water to the toilet, but apparently they didn't use it. <laughs> Guys, here's the funny thing about this. Don't get me wrong, I love the creative plumbing, but you've got a crawl space right here to go up under the house to actually run this like it should be. Trust me, I'm not going under there. You cannot pay me enough to do it. At least by coming out here, I see the plumber was Bob because he signed his name to his work. Let me know, have you seen anything this crazy? Now I gotta tell you, this is the absolute craziest plumbing job I've ever seen in my life. If you disagree, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you've seen. Preferably, you can send me pictures or video. But I gotta tell you, this is kinda wild and I'm gonna get out of here because even though there's plumbing in here, it smells like plumbing in here, so I don't know that anybody's actually used the water to flush the toilets or do anything that they could have done. I hope you enjoyed this. If you've seen anything this crazy or crazier, do me a favor, send me a message and let me know. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if I survive and get out of here safely.